Hi everyone! Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Today we're at one of Melbourne's biggest food festivals and that is Grazeland. Yes. Grazeland. Are you ready for some grazing? Light grazing or heavy grazing? Definitely heavy grazing. Oh, okay. Let's check it out. Let's go eat. Welcome to Grazeland. Now this place used to be a shipping container yard but transformed into a 10,000 square meter food festival. Look at this place. It's a perfect it. place for foodies. I absolutely love it. It is so nice. With over 50 food stores, there's so many different things you can eat. Food from around the world. There's light entertainment, pet friendly, but today we're just going to be grazing our way through all the food. Graze over here, I'll graze over there. All right. Anyway, let's Let's go eat, yeah? Let's go fatties. I mean foodies, my bad. Let's go. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving this place. It is so big. It's like an amusement park, but for food. Now these stores are so interesting because they're actually shipping containers. They've cut a hole into it, put their fridge, their food, their grills in. It's like a food truck, each and every one of these, and it looks amazing. Oh my god, oh, yeah. <laughs> my main man. The oh my god, video. that's gangster, man. That's, that's gangster. gangster. I'm craving for some noodles, so let's go try our flying noodles. Now look at these noodles. They're actually flying. They're floating and you got that sauce on top too. What is that sauce? Oh, the soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yeah. Sweet soy sauce. Yum. Thank you, man. It's our first meal at Grazeland. Flying noodles. And those noodles are actually flying. Ooh. That looks crazy. So we've got a flame chicken skewer with a big piece of vegetable here. Vegetables, you got your floating noodles. Do I just like grab it like this and eat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try, try. Oh. How is it floating? What's holding it up? Oh. oh, it's a fork. That is awesome. Look at that presentation, guys. That is fantastic. It's a good slurp. It's a really thin noodle and it's just like a sweet soy sauce. There's not a lot of flavor in it, but it's delicious. Yeah, this place is so crazy. There's music in the background. Feels like I'm at a festival. Oh, juicy. Oh, <laughs> <That's> so good. <laughs> oh, so delicious. How much did this cost? $18. $18? So it's a sweet soy sauce glaze with garlic and honey, it's delicious. Together, like this. Yes, yes, come on food master, show us the way. Bite of that, yep, bite of the skewer. The skewer is so good. Man, I'm really vibing with Graceland right now. There's music in the background, kids running around. It feels like a Chinese house warming, so good. Now, here we've got flying noodles and they weren't kidding when they said it was flying. I'm scared it will fly away. Look at that chicken. You know what? I'm just gonna rip that apart. That is so soft. It just came off that skewer. I'm salivating guys. It smells delicious. Anyway, cheers. Fantastic. Just fantastic. It's a very sweet meal all around. Noodles, very easy to eat. The chicken is definitely a highlight for me. Juicy, soft, sweet, everything you want. <laughs> Flying vegetables. <laughs> this is a very light meal, so a good way to start our food adventure. Mm. <laughs> All right, so the next meal we're having is an Argentinian grill called El Cocho. We've never had it before, so I'm really excited to try it. Anyway, our food is here, so... Let's eat. 
This is an Argentinian charcoal grill meat platter. Wow. Yeah, look at that guys. It's our first time trying it and I'm very excited because that looks absolutely delicious. So as I was eating the noodles, I found something underneath him and it's so funny. Look at what is, is that an apple? The oh, that's an apple. You get dessert with your noodles. How random is this? <laughs> that's crazy. This is a mainly a beef platter, a whole bunch of steak, ribs. You've also got a uh, pork sausage, chips, and also some veggies on the side that will get neglected. So here, this, look at that. You've got some sort of sauce, herby sauce on top of that. Look how juicy that meat is. Oh my God, it's so fatty. Let's try out this charcoal grill. Mm, wow. Woo. You can really taste that smokiness, the charcoal flavors infused in that meat. Very salty flavors, very fatty. The meat crunchy on the outside, soft and a little chewy on the inside. The great thing about this is that it's a platter so I get to try all types of meats from their grill. Mm. Okay. A little tough for me, but still decent. Now I'm gonna look for that sausage, here it is like a pork sausage. I'm very thirsty right now after eating this. Mm. Oh. Like a chorizo. Come back. Cheers. Cheers. That is so salty. <laughs> it's, quite, it's definitely on the salty side. And chewy. Yeah, not bad. Is that what Argentinian food is like? Like charcoal grilled meats? For us, it's a little salty, a bit too chewy, just okay. I don't know if I'll come back. Anyway, let's get some pizza. Our next stop is that 48 hour pizza bar. Let's Yay. Go. I heard this place is really good as well. Ooh. We are now grabbing the De Palma. The number one pizza in Australia Pizza World Championship. What's great about this place too is that you get to see them prepare the pizza right before your eyes. Look at that. Olive oil. Some greens. Fantastic. Forty-eight hours. Yay! Although we only waited maybe four minutes. There's our pizza. We got the Di Parma tomato-based pizza with mozzarella, rocket, the buffalo cheese, and it also comes with bruschetta. Let me try that real quick. Whoa, so thin. Mmm, like cheese, but meat. <laughs> That's so good. I love it. Let's grab a slice of this pizza cut into four. I like that. Whoa! Ooh. Cheers. Yum. Pizza. Oh my god. It's just dripping. Holy cow. It smells really good. I'll be eating in the background, guys. Mmm. That's good. And that's an award-winning pizza. It's fantastic. It won 2019 championship. I don't really like waffles. Yeah, it gives a little of that bitter taste to it. Yeah. But it's nice. I feel like they put it in there to cut down all that cheese. I think it tastes better without the waffles. But that's just me. Yeah. The dough is really soft. And they cooked it so fast. Yeah. How do they do that? Just the cheese. Oh, the buffalo. Oh, buffalo too. Chewy, like a marshmallow. That's delicious. <laughs> anyway, there's just some rock music in the background making me feel a certain way, all right? I love it. Anyway, we got the meat, very thin piece of meat. I'm gonna put that on top of this pizza slice right there. Let's go double. 
Let's go double, fold it up like a New York pizza. Watch out for, oh no, 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 no. I take the cheese. Watch out for all that juice coming from that rocket. Love it. Definitely check out 48 hours. Mm. So babe, we've had three meals now. I think I've got seven left in me, so we can do Ooh, 10. That's Let's do good. 10. 10 is yes. pretty good. I mean, right. we can't do all 50 because that's just so much for the boys of us. That's insane. Maybe you can, but I don't think I can. Now let's get some seafood. What yeah. do you think? Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Ooh, walking into the next venue. Welcome to round two, guys. <laughs> to the next section. Yeah. Our next stop is at Claw and Tail for some seafood. So at Claw and Tail, you can get some fresh oysters, rolls, and smaller bites, but we're going for that roll. There you go, man. Yeah, how you doing, man? Not bad. You don't mind if I film you? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, there we go. You're my chunny, aren't you? So we're currently at the second venue of Graceland, located kind of in the middle. This place has a whole bunch of snacks, goodies, and uh, babe, what's our mission for today? Our mission is to have a food coma with you guys. <laughs> and also, put out a food baby. Oh my goodness, yeah. I think our real mission is to let the people know what's the best things to eat at Grey's Land. Your mission is completely different, but it is also on the right path. We want to tell you what's the best thing to eat at Grey's Land, and that is our mission for today. Yes, and we'll obviously try our best to eat as much as we can, yeah. and we'll probably go to the ones that look good and the ones that look okay, then... Yes! Wow! It's our lobster roll. Now you can get these for $20 and it looks like that. That looks beautiful. Look at that presentation, guys. You know what it reminds me of? What? It's like a ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, the bun feels really nice. Wow, lobster. Yes. Some mayo, lettuce, yes. herbs, spring onion, and a lot of garnish. And is that like a toasted bun or yes. just like a normal kind of? It's a toasted bun. It's a toasted bread? Good luck. It's like a hot dog. Ooh. Oh. Let her speak, guys. Let her speak. Wait. Just wait. Be patient. Oh. Oh my god. A lobster just. I think it was bit into a shell or something. Oh, really? Oh, no. That's how fresh it is, guys. For $20, I'd say it's not worth it. Oh, okay. It's not what I expected. It's like you're eating a lobster salad. The bread isn't that soft. It's not as juicy, it's not as creamy. It's okay. I don't usually eat lobster rolls. Um, just too fancy for me, man. All right, if I'm gonna eat a lobster, it's gotta come with noodles and some chili. Like the ones you get from the wedding banquets. But here is my first lobster roll in years. Mm. Some fresh lobster, very fresh, delicious, very clean. This is a healthy Subway roll. I feel like if they added a little bit more fattiness to it, a bit of butter, a bit more mayo, a bit more sauce, it will be really good. Overall, decent for me. Mm, so easy to eat. Listen, we Asians always finish our lobster. Seafood is the most expensive, you eat it all. So John just told me this roll is for people who want to eat healthy food, which is why unfortunately it's not for me. It's for all the guai lo and for the people who exercise, go for walks at 6 a.m. in mornings. You eat a lobster roll because it's clean, it's delicious, and you're not going to gain too much weight. <laughs> She's feeling it. The food making her feel a certain way. All right, where are we going now? On to the next food stop. We're going to try a katsu sandwich and bow down. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> hey. Here's 
our food. Yay. Yay. What you got there? So we have the katsu chicken sando, which is a katsu chicken sandwich. Ooh. And then we have the crispy chicken bao, yeah. which is a soft white bun, but it's not that soft. <laughs> so we'll try it out. Definitely not your traditional Japanese style. It does look a little different. Wow, look at that. You got that katsu chicken in the middle, some pickles. Yeah, pickled lettuce. cabbage and lettuce and mustard. Ready guys, I'll give you guys a bite first. Three, two, one. Very nice. How was that guys? Mm. How is it? Not bad. I guess you guys have taken a bite already, now it's my turn. Yeah, sharing is caring. Bad. Yeah. It's not dry, but it's not juicy, so it's all right. I just feel like it's very average yeah. for fifteen dollars. Thirteen dollars for a bow, I feel like definitely overcharged. Ever since the bow hype came to Melbourne, the bow prices are definitely going up. Thirteen dollars for a bow, no, no, no. Used to be only like five to seven dollars for a pork bow, but now I think they just overload it, they stuff it. And the hype is real. So it's expensive now. Like a bun me. How is that? Better? Better than the sandal? Yeah. The chicken's crispy, more juicy, sauce is good as well. It's time to bow down. To the bow. Well that bow was not too bad. The sando was okay too. Now we're gonna be extra critical when it comes to Japanese Asian foods because that's our true love. The sando itself was, it's not your traditional Japanese. It's uh, the chicken katsu is just way too big in both items. But overall still quite tasty. However, not the best. On to the next meal. Let's find a gem. I need a gem. Let's find the hidden gems at Graceland. Come on. So our next meal is at Progi Progi, which is a Polish dumpling. Let's try it out. Delena's first time. Let's go. Progi Progi. I like saying it. Progi. Yeah. Here are the Progi. We have five pierogi. So it's topped up with dill, fried onions, and sour cream. Oh. This was first introduced to me by Tommy Craze. Ooh. And now it's your turn. Have you tried it before? I have tried it. Oh. It is quite interesting. Now, I've never had a dumpling outside of Asia, and it's very surprising that the Polish people like their dumplings. Oh, it smells really good. I'll show you guys. Look at the onions. Oh. Definitely. Okay, my first time. Gonna be interesting. Let's go. Pierogi. Big shout out to Paula. Oh my god. It's interesting. Yeah. I really like the skin. The skin is delicious. Right. But when I bit into the meat, I wasn't expecting these kind of flavors. Right. It's like a dark meat. It looks like a beef. Pierogi. Mm. It's like minced sausage meat. Mm. Or bundled up together, put into a dumpling. Just try it. I think you'll know what I mean here. Oh, it's got like a sweet and savory taste to it. And like I taste potatoes as well with some ground meat. It's so good. It's delicious though. I actually really like it. Mm. Nice chewy dumpling dough. Lightly fried. I recommend the progi if you've never tried a dumpling outside of Asia because it's bloody delicious. It's bloody delicious, all right, progi? Bloody delicious. Try it out. Okay, on to our next food item. Our next stop, African food at Tasty Suya. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Here's our food. Yeah, chuck some sauce on it. Yes, some tasty sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> and here is our African food from Cameroon. Yeah, now we've had African food before, Ethiopian food. Yes. And this is our second time. Yes. It looks good. It smells delicious. It's a chicken suya. Cheers. Yay, we got chicken. We drizzled on some sauce, salad on the side. Yeah? Is it more like Ethiopian chicken or is it kind of like a jerk chicken? It's like a jerk chicken. Jerk chicken? Yeah. You get that little bit of a spice, it's juicy. I can really taste the smokiness. Yeah. It's delicious. 
Fantastic. I like it. Ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm incredibly full, but it is my job to try all the foods at Graysland. Maybe not all of them, but as much as I can. Thank you, Africa. Oh. Oh. Spicy. Got a little kick to it. Is that from the sauce? That's from the sauce, right? Yeah. Ooh. That's good, I like that. I'm gonna grab some lettuce, a bit of onions, capsicum, and that chicken. Look at that. Grilled so well. So much flavor, man. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I wish there was more to it. Maybe rice on the side and a few, you know, entrees to go with it. Because yes, all I'm eating now is just chicken and lettuce, man. Feels like I'm on a diet. But um, overall, very tasty and I'm a fan. But you can order it with rice. Oh. Mm. After exploring and eating for over two hours, it's safe to say that this is our Disneyland. I'm having so much fun. I feel like a child again, running around, everyone with happy smiles on their faces, eating all the food that they love. There's just so much variety and things to do. This is a wonderful date. Thank you, Graceland. But we are not done yet. On to the third venue, more food. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, America is here. It's Carcella. Didn't, didn't Blackpink perform there? At Carcella? No? Hey guys! Hey! Hey, you know what? <laughs> now here's something we never eat. It is Scottish food. Let's go! Never in my life have I seen a Scottish place that sells food in Melbourne. And here it is. The Kilted Haggis. The Braveheart. The Braveheart. Should I try a Scotch pie? We'll have a Scotch pie and the battered haggis. You know what haggis is? No. It's like all the entrails of animals mushed into one organ chopped up. But this one is just lamb and beef mix. I'm so excited because this is the first time we've ever had Scottish food. Get in my belly. All right, now over here we've got the haggis. I've heard all about haggis from my history classes um, when I learned a lot about Scotland. The thing with haggis is it's like all the organs mushed up together, all the parts that you don't like to eat and they put it inside another organ and they cook it and they slice it up. But here it's just um, a lamb and a beef. As you can see, have a look at that. That's a small haggis. That's a tiny haggis. When it comes to Scotland and Scottish, I have to do the accent, you know? I can't help myself. Is that Scotland? By the way, you also know the people at Kilted Haggis are great people because number one, it's authentic because they're all from Scotland. You can tell by their accent, it's real. Almost as similar as mine. We had a little problem with our payment, but they gave us our meal for free. So a big thank you to Kilted Haggis. Okay, time for the haggis. <laughs> Oh my god! I did not expect that! Wow! It's so mushy and like it's got the consistency and flavor of like the inside of a meat pie. Mm. But battered around so the outside is like a soft crispy batter. Mm. <laughs> hey, interesting. Kind of tastes like a pie. Let's put some tomato sauce. Oh, as you can see, it feels like there are like chopped liver in that. Whole bunch of mush, getting a lot of uh, pepper flavors. Not bad. Yay, this is my Scottish pie. Scottish I pie. I love, love pies. And now yep. I'm trying a Scottish pie. And yeah. look how cute it is. This is what they used to eat back in the days, the Game of Thrones days, when they were attacking people and having oh, wars and whatnot. It's very. They would eat a Scottish pie. Oh my god, oh my god, I didn't expect that. Well, let's see. It's like not minced meat, it's literally like. <laughs> Oh, the steaming. It's literally just like a beef patty. Okay, I'm sorry, Scottish viewers, that I took it out of the pie, but yeah, I just wanted to show to. you. It was full of food science. Yes. So the pastry is like a sweet, savory pastry. Very crunchy. When I think of a pie, I always think of like 
a saucy mincemeat pie, you know. Whereas this one, it's not saucy at all. Mm. What you're getting is just the outside layer and then the burger patty. <laughs> well, it's not a burger patty, but a meat patty. I don't think a Chinaman would ever go to Scotland and try their food. I think that's like one in a million, but it's happening, guys. Scottish. Oh, not bad. Salty, a little bit dry, but overall, not bad. Graceland is amazing because it has such a wide variety of different foods. I never thought that I'd find a Thai restaurant next to a Scottish restaurant, next to an Indian store. There's just absolutely everything you can think of at Graceland and that's what makes this place so amazing. We're not even at desserts yet. Crazy. Hey girls. Hey. Hey, yeah. hey guys. What up, Sydney? What up, Sydney? Yeah, boy! So our next stop is at Tiger Prawn. We're gonna try the Pad Thai Prawn. Let's go. Oh my goodness, this is a king prawn for a queen prawn. <laughs> oh, so juicy. Gotta get your hands messy. Okay, have a bite, my king oh, really? prawn. You're the king. Ooh! <laughs> mm. That's juicy. Oh. oh, they're like thin noodles. Look at them. Look. Not the thick pad thai flat noodles I'm used to. Mm. More on the sweeter side, so I really like it. Not too salty. Good combination of flavors, but the prawn is also delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! Hey girls! Hey girls. Yeah! Hey guys! Hi. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Our last meal for today, and then off to dessert. Cheers! So it's about six o'clock. We've been here for four hours. Four hours of intense eating. A whole bunch of people swarming up. At first, we're going to the Sweet Street now, the final venue at Graysland where all the sweets belong. The first place we're going to in dessert land is Chim Nuts. And look at these, these look fantastic. It's like a donut with cream and other sweets inside it. Wow. Stage into Chim Nuts. What up, Chim Nut crew? Let's go! Yes! Away. Let me work here, let me work here. You, you can work yeah, here. Yeah, 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 alright, alright. You're hired! <laughs> oh, yeah. That smells great, man. Alright, see you guys later. Bye bye. Take care. Alright, so here's our Chim Nut. Now, first, the guys at Chim Nut were so cool. They're all like viewers from the OG videos. So they all let me in and uh, have a backstage pass to how they make their Chim Nuts. Now, this is some donut with a uh, soft serve on top with a wafer. Looks fantastic. Cheers. Delicious. How do I eat? How do I get there? Do I just, how do I do it? Do I just lift it up? It's like a warm donut cone. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, so pretty. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, look at that. Custard, right in the center. I think you're supposed to eat with a spoon, but this is hella delicious. I recommend. Mm. Now the guys at Chimnut hooked us up with this, another dessert, it's the Bueno. Man, that's a lot of dessert. <laughs> Always another belly. For yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that blow. Mm. Tastes exactly like a Bueno. 
crunchy. Delicious. Oh. Mm. That's delicious. I like this one. Next stop is egg waffle at Cielo. So I got the Ferrero Cher Bubble Waffle. Let's try it out! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, no, this way. no. The ice cream, very delicious. The waffle, let's go. <laughs> so this is what Graysland looks like at night time. It really is an amazing festival. So we had to leave the dessert area because it just got way too packed. It's so busy right now. It's about 7 p.m. We spent so much time yes, here. Yes, we've been, we've been so eating long. all day. It feels like Disneyland for real. From morning to night of eating. Anyway, make sure you guys try out more dessert if you come to Graysland. And Yay. that was Graysland. Now, that was by far the best food festival I've ever been to in Melbourne, hands down. That was fantastic. The wide variety of food, so many awesome cool stores and the people here were just so nice. Everyone having a great time. Yes. Graceland, highly recommend. Yes. Mm, hey? My belly is feeling really good. I've got a food coma. I've we got a crazy a food, food coma. coma. We also met a lot of foodies here yes, as well. So, so that was many. Lots of fun. I love you Definitely guys. Definitely a good place to go you. with your friends and family on the yes. weekend. Yes. It's just a food adventure. Yes. Here. It's a big food amusement park. I had so much fun. I've got a crazy food coma. Yeah. It's time to go home and sleep for three days. Yes, I wish I could eat more, but that is enough for today. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope you have a great week. We'll see you later. Thanks for eating with us always. Love. Take care. Bye. See you. It's his birthday. Happy 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 birthday. Yo, YouTuber. What is it? What's Yo, your handle? What's up? My name is Yana Tubing, and check me out on YouTube. I do food vlogs as well. Woo. Hell yeah. So we also got these cookies with uh, leftover money that we're gonna give to the next fan that we see. Good luck, guys. Hey, oh, by the way, this is for you guys. Oh, there you go. Oh, cookies. Thank you, thank you. Yay.